Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have got the long awaited palette, but you can wait another second because here goes your intro. Okay guys, so Shop Hush did it again. I swear it was just last week we got the Atlantis palette. Well this week we have got the Fantasia palette in this gorgeous packaging. And it is amazing. It is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Tropic. And y'all know, ain't nobody got over $100 to drop on one palette. So we just dropped 16 for this one, even less if you're a frequent shopper and you have some points to put on it. And you can use codes on the app now with free two day shipping. What? Incredible. So here is the inside of the palette. Should look very familiar, just like the Tropic palette. Might be ordered a little bit differently. And we've got our super big mirror like always and this is always cruelty free so i'm gonna go ahead and stick some swatches right here okay so here are some swatches of the palette we've got some mattes a super gorgeous shimmer more mattes this is like a straight loose glitter definitely need glue that blue both of those and that green so pretty guys and we're just gonna go ahead and jump into a quick tutorial this is the look far away but you'll see it close up in just a second okay so we are gonna start out by going into the color stratus that's right here and this is a really good shade to just set everything down with and just put that in the crease to get a transition in there and get all that going. Then we are gonna go into Above It All right here. This is a really nice peachy shade. And we are gonna use this to bring a little bit of peach into the look because that's what I want to go for in this crease. And we're going to go in a little bit heavy with this, but not too, too crazy. Okay, then to get a little bit darker, we are going to take Nimbus right here. This is a nice uh, kind of burnt, but still light red. And we're going to take it in the crease a little bit lower down. Just to add a little bit of something right through here. And to deepen this up just the tiniest bit as we get lower down. Okay, now with my favorite stamping brush, we are going to go into Bliss right here. This looks deceptively light, but I think if we stamp it in, we're going to get a pretty good brown pigment that we can um, really get in this outer corner. Okay, and then because I just want to play with this color, we're going to take Ecstatic right here. This is a gorgeous almost mint glitter. I'm going to take it with a flat packing brush and try to lay it down on the lid like so. It is super pretty, but there is a ton of fallout. Um, Okay, so this isn't quite working how I want it to. We're going to try it with our finger and see if that's any better. It is a lot better, but I'm thinking this may need to be a topper for the shade that you use with glitter glue, but with your finger you can. Pack it on pretty good and it's not leaving harsh lines, so I don't even really think I need to blend it too much. Okay, <clears throat> so I did get a lot of fallout from that shade, but 
in the end it worked out all right. Now I'm going to take a little bit of weightless. Bear with me, this is a yellow. But I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight and just see what happens. It is definitely very pretty. It's not coming off super yellow as long as I'm not going in too heavy handed. I'm just going to stamp a little bit there and blend it for a brow bone highlight. All right, and then for this lower lash line, I'm just going to go in with Nimbus again right here and smoke that <clears throat> across the lower lash line with this little packing brush I used in my own earlier. And this will just tie the lash line and the crease together. Okay, so I'm going to go for liner and lashes and I will be right back with the finished product. Okay, you guys, so here is the final look at what I created with this palette. We were going to go for lashes today, but they just weren't happening. So we just got on some extra mascara. But final thoughts on this palette. All the colors perform really nicely. I guess really it was me that made the mistake of not realizing this was more of a chunky glitter. But all the other colors are absolutely gorgeous. I really like it. This is definitely a great dupe to get for the price break because with the Dentasha Denona's, y'all can have all the bad feelings about dupes that you want, but pricing an eyeshadow palette that's only got 15 shades at $129 is really out of most people's budgets. So this is a great alternative. Of course, I haven't used the real thing, but this is amazing. I'm absolutely loving it. All the mattes blended really well. Swatching out all the shimmers are amazing. Had I used Glitter Glue or Fix Plus, I'm guessing this probably would have been even better, but it's still super pretty. I'm definitely happy with this. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you snagged yours. If you didn't, I do believe it is still available. Um, yeah. So I hope this was a quick enough video and enough information for you to make your decision. Uh, let me know if you post some looks. I'd love to check them out. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the extra video this week. I had to get this up ASAP so y'all could see the tea. I love posting these hush videos. They're some of my favorites to do. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow with a wear test. Bye you guys.